All right, people, welcome back. More Daily Bills. My opponent's telling me to come on because that's getting the recording set up. <laughs> All right, we are playing the Dark Lord today. Uh, I went with more of a pure variant. I know uh, the freaking Chris Gavrickin was going so well. They've been asking for people to, people are already asking me to give them some deck profiles, but uh, no, we'll hold off on that. We'll hold off on that. So uh, hopefully this goes well. So we're playing more of the Lithium pure version. Hopefully that goes well. Uh, we're playing two curry bandits, drew them both, but I guess that's okay. I guess I'd rather have them than not have them at this point. Because uh, I just want to try this out. Like, I could just sit there and Christia 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 and the shit out of my opponent. But I think that I'll go ahead and ask great. You know what? Give my, give my altar. Give my altar. I know there's a solemn there, but I already got two solemns, and altar can give me a play for next turn. Because right now, I really don't have any plays for next turn. So, the idea is to, you know, mill a couple of the, the traps and stuff like that to get them to be used in the future. We're going against Metal Foes. Metal Foes with, of course, Keaton, like you already know. Uh, I, I'm, I'm kind of confused about what you're doing right now, like just a little bit. Like, Pendulum Scale 1 and Pendulum Scale 2. Like, do you have, like, Skyrim's Wavering Eyes is, of course, banned, so... Oh, right, 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 you could pop, you could pop the, uh, the thing with Metal Foes. Just kind of forgot about that. Shadal, Metal Foes... Throwing, well, I'm, I'm thinking of Shadal Metaphors, and he just threw in Keating because fucking Keating is the boss ass bitch. Like, you already fucking know. Fucking Keating. <laughs> okay, so instant fusion for, of course, Norden. Where are you going with this? Maybe not Norden. Maybe? Oh, right, right. I forgot you can, you can go into window. Kind of forgot about that. Kinda. Kinda. Uh. I'll strike that. Strike that all on the floor. Strike that. Okay. Uh, anyway, you look at the title, just the two of us, <laughs> and you're like, I don't get it. <laughs> Let me explain. So, I'm in my new class. I mean, I am in my new course, and with my new course of, uh, uh, it's like a class that I wasn't supposed to take until after the class I was supposed to take, like, I finished three, and I was supposed to go into four, but four wasn't ready to go, so they put me in five. So I guess I'll eventually get back to four. You get the point, you know? Like, there's a particular order of it, but I guess they didn't, you know, really need to do that order of things. Um, I kind of wish I would have, like, well, like their trap. I think I want to just pitch Eekstu and get deeper into the deck, like... Because I would love to grab, like, one of the trap cards. I'll lure. I'll lure. I'm not the biggest fan of playing lure, right, in this deck, but, you know, wanted to go ahead and try it out. I could get rid of the Curry Bandit. I think I might get rid of the Curry, uh, the curry Bandit. And then just draw deeper into Ixa. Got some Twister too, so that, that's nice. That's nice, because I really don't need another Superbia, so I can pitch that. There we go, there we go, got my trap card. That's really what I wanted, it was my trap card. <laughs> so, I can go ahead and activate my Altar. Altar can go ahead and summon Superbia. And then Superbia can go ahead and summon me Ixta. Ixta, or what's it? No, Mastium. Mastium is a little bit stronger. I'm going to summon it in attack mode. Why is it not? Oh, because she has 20 already. I was like, I was like, you have 26, 26, she has 25. I thought she was 25, 25. I was like, why the hell does Mastium have more... Mas, Mastium? Mas, Mastium? As... Tema? Mastema. Mastema have, you know, higher stats than Ixtub. But it's like, no, 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 no. Combine. He doesn't. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and summon him and uh, just attack. I said I could... I guess I could activate my effect return and then revive someone. I guess I could do that, but... Kind of forgets that I could do that. <laughs> Pay a thousand to go ahead and use my Monster Born S card. Like, I, I, that cards, that cards are pretty powerful. You gotta admit that they are, they are some, they are some hot shit sometimes. Hey, you know what? I think I'll do that. I think I'll go ahead and pay a thousand to go ahead and revive. Cause I have another one in my hand, and this just gives me yet another monster. Are you once per turn? This card's gonna. Oh, I could have summoned and got more damage. And God damn it, cause oh, did you miss timing? Because I summon you back, and then the card gets shuffled. Ah, I see that. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. That makes sense. I'll set these two cards, and I will pass to you. That makes sense. <laughs> I was thinking. I was like, I was like, wait, I could just summon you, and you're not once per turn, but I miss timing. Yeah, that's what that went. That one. But uh, in this new course, unlike the previous courses where there were thirteen of us. But we were all combined because we all had to take this course, right? And it doesn't matter if you are, because literally the program is for, hey, are you a high school English teacher, a high school math teacher, a special ed teacher? The f shut the fuck up. Shut, shut the fuck up, dude. Like, 
I can take as long as I fucking want, dude. <laughs> like, some people are just so fucking rude. And I, if you want to play the fucking stall game and be a fucking cunt, then more power to you. I don't care. Because I'm literally about to blow you out of the fucking water. And that really, that's all that matters. Counter. Alright. This card is destroyed. Summon the Metal Fuzz monster from your deck. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. You can have that. Tell me what I'm mad at. But, uh, yeah, so, if you're a high school English teacher, high school math teacher, special ed teacher, or an elementary school teacher, we pretty much took all the same classes. But now in this fifth class, this is secondary only, and the 13 students of us, um, I think they're gonna be just twin twistering. Yeah, just cracking your freaking uh, your pendulum scales right now, because I can. Yeah, I'll go ahead and do that. Falling from grace. Go ahead and get rid of that. No, get rid of that. You don't need that. You don't need that pension scale. Go ahead and set up another one, man. Metal Foes Fusion. No, that's fine. You only got one monster, so what? One monster in your hand and one monster in the field? Oh, her? Okay, I guess. Like, you can have that. I don't know what I'm mad at. Not, not you. Alright, whatever you got. I'm assuming it's like a Shadow monster. You're gonna get that Shadow Fusion on me. Uh, yeah, that's fine. That is fine. So, he is... He's not doing so hot. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, he he's, he's kind of just running out of things to do. I, like, pop them and shit. Do you destroy all monsters? I can my Dark Monster destroy all monsters my opponent controls. Ooh. That might be decent. I can go ahead and play Alter. Alter can summon Superbia. Superbia can summon Dark Lord Zorado. Dark Lord Zorado pitch, blow up all his monsters. Like, yeah. This is probably a Shadal monster, I'm assuming. But it depends on what Shadal monster did. It's like if it's Dragon, then yeah, if it's Falco, you know. I think uh, when it comes to Shadals, I think that their Grave Guard effects aren't nearly as bad as their flip effects. Like, their flip effects can put you in some hot water, but their Grave Guard effects, eh? Yeah. yeah. Oh. There's some that are like, yeah, but Falco would just summon itself to block my attack, which would kind of suck. Cause I might be able to end it. Dragon would pop up on my back rows, which is kind of eh. You know, I think I'd rather hold on to my back row right now. This is the only thing that's gonna suck right now for this play is that I won't have the Twin Twister, so if and only if I'm gonna survive this duel. Uh, during your United States, you can banish this card and target one face out Metaphor's Pendulum Monster from your extra deck and add it to your hand. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> I kinda forget that counter has that effect because I don't really play counter. So, we'll go ahead and summon Superbia, Superbia. We'll go ahead and summon Dark Lord Zarato. So it's the pure, pure variant. It just seems kind of, kind of a little bit anticlimactic in comparison. We'll go ahead and pitch. What Shadal monster was it? It was Squamata. So Squamata can go ahead and send another Shadal, which of course can be, uh, it could be Falco to summon itself back and block the attack. I think it was some some Falco. No beast, dude. So fucking greedy. So greedy. If you're gonna be that greedy, then I'm just gonna fucking. Oh wait, I already know what this card is. I said that's game because I already know it's fucking fusion. Like that's game. Like, all right. I didn't mean to activate that. I, I, wanted, I, thought, I thought I wanted to pop it and get rid of it as back row, but it's not even anything, so. So that's game, so. GG, I guess? Like, for a guy who was talking mad shit, like, you, you're probably one of the worst Metal Foes players I've seen in the cool minute. Yep, GG. Come on, come on! How about I come on? Beat that ass, nigga! Woo! All right, get another deal. Bear back. But no, the class, this class, is purely for secondary education. And despite the 13 students that were in the previous courses of all four different type of teachers combined, there's only two secondary education kids. And it's just me and one other guy. I think it's, I, I can't remember his name, but I know it's a guy. He's thinking, well, it's just two of you, you and a girl, oh, yeah, you totally got it. No, 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 no. And I apologize that I haven't really been having any stories about me and the uh, females, but I really haven't been associating with it. <laughs> many females lately. I, I, I will tell you that right now. Go ahead and summon Norton, Norton, summon that back. So look at Norton, just being such a neighbor, such a neighbor. Fucking one card, think five, like, let's go. Yep, library? Yep, 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 yep. God, Norton, you're such an enabler. And send card. Oh, Synchro Fusionist. Okay, so that means that this is about to get stupid, because you already know fucking uh, uh, Refusion. You already know fucking Refusion. Yep, 
to draw two cards. <laughs> uh, hand destruction. Ooh, interesting. Ooh, interesting. I think I'll go ahead and send this, and I could send this, and then revive it. That would be terrible. Yeah, I'll send this and this. The lures might get deeper into my deck, allow me to get deeper into my deck for more plays, so. I'm not the biggest fan of Allure. I really not. Like, I think it's a fair card. I really do. Because you play it, you get two, you two, it's two for two, you even out. You get deeper into your deck. My problem with it is, is that I'm banishing monsters. Sometimes I don't want to do that. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. He's just fucking playing with himself. Of course, Soul Charge. Can't fucking get fucking Soul Charge. Norton's broken. Soul Charge is broken. Like, you just, you just, you literally just take a handful of fucking broken ass cards and then smush them into one fucking stupid ass retarded shit. And then there you go. It's Yugi, all right? <laughs> so it's literally just me and one other guy. I can't remember his name. It was, the 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 teacher the professor said in the email, but I don't remember because she just sent out two emails, one to me, one to him. So, so uh, yeah, I mean, I guess I could be rude like the other guy and say, "Come on!" But they said this guy's just gonna pretty much sit there and touch himself. This is the reason why this card has to stay at one because think about it, if he had multiple in the field, every time he goes someone draw two, draw two. Like it's already dumb that it's not once per turn you're drawing multiple fucking cards. Like look at this shit. TDI Blade Brain deserves to be fucking limited. And of course, Synchro Fusionist will go ahead and get your fucking refusion. Like fucking stupid. Like literally, you're taking you throw it when a deck is called Synchro Fusionist, would you literally play it to take advantage of Norton? Don't you think that Norton should be banned? No, oh, Norton, Norton's fine at one. Is he now? Is he? Because if he was fine at one, he'd probably still be at one in the OCG, right? 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 That's Quasar right there, isn't it? If he had level eater, because this is a this is synchro. I'm just gonna go on Omega and then draw another card. Like, no. You should stay at one. Forever. Like <laughs> sucking shenanigans, man. Alright. I can pick a card out of my hand. Oh, there's level eater. There's level eater. Alright, one for one, soul charge, all this stuff, over and 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 over. Like, goddamn. Like, I guess maybe I'll get a turn eventually. Maybe. Yeah, at this point, probably not. Ah, ah, fucking refusion, because Norton's so fucking fair. Yep, 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 uh, yep, because, because Norton, Norton, uh, is fair, fair. Totally shouldn't be banned. Shouldn't be banned. <laughs> totally shouldn't be banned. Yep. So I guess he's just gonna go off, fucking touch himself, touch himself, secret refusion, and pick everything out of my fucking hand. Because that's what it seems like. Oh, Eric is my other aware. Ah, yep, then you fucking desynchro that, then summon all the monsters back that were synchro summoned, including Norton, but at least the field was full, but Norton, you know Norton's not once per turn, right? Oh yeah, you didn't know? Then synchro on Trishula again, and then draw a card and pick something out of my hand, like, mmm, cancer, Yu-Gi-Oh's cancer. So I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't want to duel anyway, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't want to duel anyway. Duel anyway, I, 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 I really didn't. I didn't, I, I didn't want to duel anyone now. I'm good. I'm good. I didn't want to then. <laughs> uh. <laughs> like, how? Look at the shenanigans, man. Like, fucking Yu Gi Oh! Sometimes. It is just straight up fucking this pure, unadulterated cancer. Pick everything out of my hand. Like, I, 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 guess, I guess. GG? I guess? Like, I haven't even gone yet, and my entire hand is gone. That shit is only, okay, only happen in Yu-Gi-Oh. Only happen in Yu-Gi-Oh. Any other card again? Nah. Yu-Gi-Oh? Sure. Why not? You know? You're gonna desynchro and then resynchro and then I fucking Trish again, pick the last card in my hand? Absolutely make sure that I have nothing? Nothing. You gotta make sure that I have nothing. Alright? Don't, don't leave me with anything. Oh, wait. You can just go into another Omega. Yeah, this can go into another Omega. Nope. Nope. Is that out? Yep. Yep. This is fun. This is fun. But no, seriously. Uh, there's just two of us. So that's really weird. In this class, this class seems like it's going to be harder and more tedious than the fucking first. Like, literally, take that last class, which was already, like, pretty difficult. Like, I, I'd say on a scale from 1 to 10, I'd say the class was an 8. Take that class, right? Take that class. Now, up that by 1. Like, take take the, take the work. Like, it literally has the same amount of work. Wow. Mm. Wow. Mm. Wow. So, yeah. Like, I think someone suggested that I play this deck on Synchro Fusionist, and I never put it on here because this is what it does. Like, how's that fun? Just sitting there fucking, ah, la, 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 Norton, loop, 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 take everything out of your hand. Fun, GG, right? Like, that's not fun. That's not entertaining. That's not. I'm just sitting here playing with myself, so. I guess GG, right? GG. GG. Fine. 
And Soul Charge, I mean, yeah, sure, yeah, he paid life points. But he couldn't attack, right? He couldn't do damage to me, so it's fair. Oh, wait, he played on this first turn. <gasps> the Soul Charge is fair. The Card Demise is fair. The Norman is fair. Yu Gi Oh! is fair. Alright, we'll get another dope right back. I mean, seriously, like, what he did, and literally having the guy jerk off and comment in my face, it is the equivalent. It's certainly the equivalent. And you're like, oh, well, well, and I don't want to get jerked off in my face. Like, I don't want this guy to jerk off and come in my face, but I don't have a choice. I just got to sit here and watch him. Just like, what happened in that door? I got to sit here and watch him just jerk off and come in my face. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Ew, this hand's actually kind of bad. Like, uh, I mean, I could, I could twin twister and then, you know, revive, but, yeah, like this hand, it's kind of shitty. Kind of shitty. No, I think it's slow. Like, I need Ixta. Like, I really feel like you know, the version that I played last time. I still have the other version. I might go to it, like, maybe one of these duels, but yeah, this, this, I, I'm not liking the pure variant. I only went because Lithium was like, oh, I like the pure variant. I was like, oh, I might as well give it a try. I don't like it. I don't like it. I like locking me down with fucking Christy and winning. Like, this, I don't like this. <laughs> I'm not really getting my trap cards at all. Like, kind of need those. There's one. There's one. Um, I think I'll get rid of Ted's. <laughs> I could set this and then use it twice. I really don't have anything. Nah, I'll just set one. I was thinking about setting another, but I don't want to get Twin Twister by his end phase Twin Twister. Pop my Twin Twister, I'll hold on to my Twin Twister in my hand and pop him. So, yeah, this class is it's really difficult. And the teacher is like, oh, yeah, you got to interview teachers. But it's weird. She's like, interview a teacher for your assignments, but you can interview me. It's like, say, what? Well, I guess definitely got a twin twist to that. Like, that, that ain't staying on the field, right? Start agreed. It's very, I mean, it's a pot of greed. It really is. If it's the last on the field, it's a pot of greed. Use one to draw two. Like, no, 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 no. Oh, Jinzo. Uh, this card's in the field. You can tribute this card. Add one Jinzo from your deck and reveal set number... Spells and traps. Can I change this attack? You can. Yeah, I can change. I can change this attack. His effect. Then, if you do, you get to summon Jinzel, right? So, if you're gonna use that effect, yeah, you're gonna use it on the chain. So, falling from grace, I think I'll go ahead and pitch. Superbia? Or Eksta? Yeah, Superbia. Pitch Superbia. Go ahead and get rid of that, uh. Yeah, get rid of your monster, because I can Twin Twister. Oh, where am I going? That's resolved. I have no traps, so Jinzo's just in your hand. Because I can chain. <laughs> yeah, because I can go Twin Twister, pitch the Mastium, pop these two, and then I'll still have Mastium. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was thinking about tests, but no, I think I'd rather pitch Mastium right now. So we'll go ahead and Twin Twister, pitch, pop, pop. No. Then I can go activate Alter, Alter summon back Superbia, Superbia summon back Mastium. Then I have my trap card in the graveyard, which is great. I don't have any more Dark Lord, so I can't really use my Alter right now, but it's really like keeping it in there. It's kind of like uh, playing with um, like PK, you know? The, the, the spell or trap, I have it. Well, they don't, of course, PK is on playing trap. You get the point. Whether I have the non monster card in on the field to do its effect or in the graveyard, it's still good. So, so I can add the protection. So if you like those are a Geki or a Dark Hole at me, I can just pitch the Tets to protect Mathium, and then the Mathium can go ahead and pay the thousand turn and then pop uh, with the Red Geki Break. That's the thing that's different with this deck than the other deck, the, the, the Cancerous Christia deck, is that I'm running more of the traps. Like, I think I'm running two of the, 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 the Changed Hearts, which I don't really like, and three of the the Ricky Break. I love the Ricky the Break. That's like, yeah, but the Changed Hearts, yeah. yeah. So, uh, anyway, let's go ahead and uh, get one more door. One more door. Right All right, we're doing God here, so I'm expecting him to just destroy me because he has the power. <laughs> He's God. Let's do a god. If I be god. <laughs> so yeah, I'm not a big fan of the change of heart card. It's oh it's okay. It's okay. This hand opening hand's actually not deep. It's not bad. It's not bad. Uh I think I can pitch the trap card. Or Dark Lord Dorado. Yeah, Dark Lord Dorado. Draw. I could play a war. You already know. Draw to a couple of cards. It'll get rid of mm, Mastio. Yeah. Uh and we'll play our search card. I think I wanna grab me my Regeki break. 
Kind of sucks that I can only use your effect once per turn, but I guess that's fair. I guess that's fair. Can I activate this once per turn? I can only activate casting out once per turn. Does this say card? You can send one dark one. Nope, it says monster. It says monster. God damn it, Bobby. Uh, superb. <laughs> I'll set the Oasis. I will set the Change of Heart. Kind of wish it was the Regeki break instead, but it's still good. I said, if they get something else, like, the Change of Heart's nice and all, but it's only temporary. It's only Change of Heart. Like, it's a steel hell, yeah, but Change of Heart, take it, give it back to you. Like, I don't really like the idea. Oh, alright, people. So now you know Dark War, Dark, <laughs> uh, Again, uh, God, God himself, he plays Cosmos. God plays Cosmos. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> I mean, it's nice that my shit doesn't target, so. If he busts out like a Dark Destroyer, I could, I could change a heart it and maybe possibly go for game. Alright. And he plays Dark Planet, too? Okay. But yeah, you have to interview teacher, but she's like, you can interview me, which is weird. Wow, and then God just surrenders, like, holy shit. Like, what happened, God? <laughs> Did you just give up? You can't give up, God, you gotta keep fighting. Like, you, you <laughs> like what did you draw? Like, you shuffled in one fucking card and just quit. Like, okay, I guess. We'll get one more deck duel peer version, and I'll, I'll, I'll see what we'll do next week. But I'm not really liking the peer version. I'm not really liking Millware. I'm not really liking the change of heart, so. I, I, I love to just summon Christy a win, but, you know. Then yeah, I might as well just play Vanities. But at least it's set up and categorized. I don't know. We'll get another duel pair pack. Alright. This will probably be the last duel. That, that, no, that wasn't even a duel. Like, that, that was not even a duel. He just did one thing and then quit. Wow, I just keep on drawing my Lord of Darkness. It's like, alright. Like, stuck in a Lord of Darkness to three? Let's go. The interesting thing about Lord of Darkness is that it's not once per turn. So, that's that's interesting. But I don't want to play the other one. See? And this is the problem with a Lord of Darkness right, for me right now. I'll set this. Summon Curry Bandit, and then Curry Bandit will just do his thing during the end phase. Hopefully, mill some of the traps. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Yes, yeah, so I'll go ahead and add one, and I'm gonna add out casting. Because I can get my search on. Get my search on! I can go ahead and search for Eekstun. If you can pitch the Superbia, then I have Ulter, so we're okay. We're okay. But yeah, this class, depending on I actually asked my teacher from high school. Uh, my high school algebra two trig pre-calculus because I had it for two years. I had it for sophomore year and junior year. Uh, and she's like, "Oh yeah, you can interview me." So I mean, at least I had my interviewee. But uh, it was funny, like the, before <laughs> the scheduling of the class thing, the class, the teacher was like, "Discussion board, post a discussion, reply to two people." She's like, "Scratch that, reply to one person because it's only one of the person in the class." Like rip. <laughs> So, that goes to show you, out of the 13 people, only two of us are secondary education. So the rest of them are either special ed, or, um... God damn, it's a lot of damage, and of course he's playing ABC. Like, ABC is the best deck in OCG, so... Like, ABCs are, 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 uh... I don't even know what our best deck is. I'd probably say PK Fire? I'd probably say PK Fire. Overall, it's the strongest deck. Like, despite them not winning any Nats, whether it be, well, Nats that are pretty prevalent. Like, you know, the North American EU, or the... Uh, European EU, because I believe that was Pendulum and uh, and uh, Monarchs respectively, they're still, you know, powerful bet. Like, it gets the most top set of, think, like, top 8, top 64, top 32, you know, so, and it did make it to the finals in both. Both, so. Are you just gonna go into Utopia Lightning? No, you're just gonna go into Utopia. Okay. Okay, that's what you wanna do. <laughs> I'll just go ahead and play Calling Out. Go ahead and get me Ixta. Ixta Pit Superbia. Uh, do I have any of my trap cards in the graveyard? No, I didn't mill any. I didn't mill any. I didn't mill my breakthrough skill on my, my change of heart, so rip. Uh, I might be able to pitch it with Twin Twister. Like, maybe. If I draw into one of the two right now, then I'd be pretty decent. No, I didn't. And I can either get one of the search cards once per turn. And I could, I could risk drawing into a dark, but that's too risky, you know? So. Uh, not the best of plays right now. They're the best of plays, they're the worst of plays, and I I got the one of the latter. So, it will go ahead and summon Superbia. You're only 25, so I think I might summon Mastem, and then just attack. They'll probably end up blocking the attack, which is fine, I guess. Revive you. Like, they're just kind of anti-comatic. It's a trap card that I'm running, you know. 
I mean, the Trinity Heart, I'm still not an eh about it, but it'd at least it'd be better than nothing right now, because I'd at least put it back and then take the Utopia attack, and then he couldn't block with the Utopia, but... Yeah. Let's stop the Utopia of the Lightning. Do I even running Utopia? I don't think I'm running any fucking fours, so... Why the fuck would I have Utopia Lightning? No. No, I'm not. Um... I forgot to put some sevens because I'm running mass damage, I think. But you get the point. I guess I could activate Pay a Thousand and revive another monster. Like, that wouldn't be terrible, at least. I'm just worried about my light points. Like, I took a shit ton of damage. No, that's fine. I really did. I took a. I took a I'm kind of, do I want to do that? Like, I have call the hunts and shit. Why would I fuck what I want to, you know, do, go to that extreme? And I'll just set everything in the bluff. In case that's that card, the Twin Twister. I think it might be a Twin Twister. No? Okay. There's some cards I want, and there's some cards that I'm kind of, eh, about, so. Or I can get fucking, fucking Lightning Vortex. Fucking, Lightning Vortex, alright. I can pay a thousand to just go ahead and summon back, uh, What's-Her-Face. But I've called Haunted, but... Yeah, I'll still, I'll still do it. Uh, ooh, I can just search for Calling out, actually. Yeah. 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 Get me... Get my Trap card. Alright, that's resolved. So now... Uh, how strong is Superb? How strong is Superbius? Superbius is 29. I think I'm gonna go ahead and activate Call of Haunted because I'm, I'm gonna activate it in time where I'm not gonna miss time. Oh, but Utopia the Lightning. Ooh, I could die because of Utopia the Lightning. That'd be bad. You know what? No. That'd be bad. Not gonna do that. Alright, now you're going, now since you're going into battle phase, now I'll go ahead and do my play. Call of Haunted. Now I'll do my play. Like, if you went to Utopia the Lightning, then, you know, hell no, but if you're not gonna go into Utopia the Lightning, then I'm Gucci, I'm Gucci, I'm Gucci. Uh, yeah. And some unique stuff. A nice 20, 29 booty, 29 attack, both of these, fairly strong. Like, let's, let's think about Dark Lords, they got some beaters. There we go, that's okay. We're, we're doing okay, we got resources. Oh, nice, of course, yes. You have another, uh, Soul Core. Rip. I could go neck on the I'm thinking about going neck on the twin twister just to have fallen grace in the graveyard, but at that point I probably don't need it. And look, Utopia is kind of a problem. Like you can fucking Utopia me and block my attack, so I'm kind of wondering what you're gonna go into. Like maybe like a castell or something? One on one castell? Hmm. Oh, just the diamond out. Didn't see that coming. Yeah, that's fine. Gotta wait until the battle phase. <laughs> that is fine. Got his Star League, John. So, yeah, this this class seems like it's gonna be a serious pain in the dick, but hopefully I will be okay. Hmm. Cowboy territory. Hmm. Gonna play call casting. Get a search. Uh, I think I'm gonna grab me the Eksta. That's the young Dark Lord Zorado. Ooh, Dark Lord Zorado would be pretty decent. I can grab Dark Lord Zorado, then I can. I might be able to game him? Because if I Dark Lord Zorado, right? Pitch the Dark Lord Zorado for Twin Twister. I'm trying to think. Pitch the Dark Lord Zorado for Twin Twister. Summon back the Dark Lord Zorado with. Um, with Call of the Haunted. No, that's not game. That's not game. Yeah, just, I'll take it slow. Oh, am I, I would say, am I at Eekstus? Like, holy shit. Like, no, I'm not yet. I'm at Eekstus. Like, okay. So, we will go ahead and activate you. Pitch you. I could pitch you. Yeah, I think I'll pitch the trap card because I can actually utilize it. Wow, I got two, cha two temptations. <laughs> the temptation is real. I could pop the Utopia of the Lightning and then just tackle their Star Leech. He'll draw a card, but I guess it's not too terrible. <sighs> I don't really want to do that, though. I'm running out of life points. Like, that's, that's the problem. I'm running out of life points. Hmm.
Then I'll just no some. There are four monsters with different names. You can tribute one dark monster instead. Do I have four different monsters? Next you have blah 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 blah. No, I only have three. Rip. Oh. Yeah, I'll get rid of the U2. And I'm running I'm actually running three? I could have swore I was running two. I guess I really wanted to make sure I got off my plays, so. But now I don't have any dark monsters in my hand. That was dumb. Ooh, that was dumb. You know what? No, because I still got Call the Hunted. Call the Hunted for Superbia. And Superbia for Yxta. No, no, Master. Hopefully that's not a mirror force. Because I'm about to pop you. I'm about to pop a Utopia. Uh, yeah. So in that back, I will pop. Utopia. Alright, so now just attack, really. Got a nice chunk of damage. Hopefully, this isn't like a mirror force or something, because it is, and hella rip. <laughs> His last fucking card. I guess I could pitch a Twin Twister, but I don't know. I'd rather get something more than that. Hold on to the Twin Twister for when he activates his fucking ABC field spell. It's a good thing he, has, he didn't open up really well with his ABCs. Not that I'm sure that his ABC is that good and his gun's going like Utopia and shit. I do have my Call of the Haunted. I mean, my Call of the Haunted, my Chended Heart, so that's pretty decent. Like that. Like that. I could go into a rank 8, but what rank 8 do I go into? Like, oh, I can go into him? I can go into him? Like, shit. I can go into this. I hope would be pretty decent. I hope it would be terrible at all, especially if he like, plays like Lightning Vortex or Ideki or something. Like, you know what? I think I'm going to hope. Hope, 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 hope. Based on travel. That's fine. You can't. I don't even run that out. And I just gotta hope that he doesn't top deck me like Rodecki and then just poke me with a monster. And that doesn't look like it. Is that a card? I think I'll take the neck on the Twin Twister for that. And get rid of it like this, because that's stuck on my field and I don't want that on my field. Ah! It was an Air Force. Rip. Rip. GG. GG. <laughs> all right, all right, we're done here. So I got a lot of work to do, interview my teacher, do lesson plans. Like, yeah, this, is dead. this is fucking class. Do a fucking biography. Like, there's so much to fucking do. It's just the first week. So uh, Wednesday being today, I got to post my discussions. And then by Friday, I got to reply to his discussions. And then Saturday midnight, so pretty much Sunday, uh, I got to have all my assignments for the week turned in. Like this, this class, this class is gonna be a pain in the dick, but gotta get through it. Gotta get through it. So, and hopefully this class will be so much easier than you know the fourth class. This is the fifth class, and it seems like they get gradually harder. It's like the first one was in, then second one, third one, and skip the fourth one. We're in the fifth one now, so it's getting harder and harder. So, hopefully the fourth one won't be that too bad. We'll, we'll get to it. <laughs> but this, this one, this one's like literally like the third one plus like extra, extra. So. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Daily Duels. I will be back tomorrow. We'll be playing the Destiny Heroes Tag Game. So thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. And uh, yeah, see you guys tomorrow.